What's going on guys? Brandon here coming into the video today. Had some epic hardpoint matches. One of each with two epic elites, which this is not an epic elites episode. It just happened to have been two very awesome elite guns. I'm going to do a video on each separately at some point. Like I said before, I'm only doing, you know, one a week just because I only have so many elite guns right now. And, um... It's luck when you get them. But um, what I want to talk about a little more is about um, the next Call of Duty. In the last video, I just literally did the commentary for. I'm going to be putting up, before I get into that, I'm going to be putting up um, four videos today to make up for not posting for the last like three or four days. Um, my schedule has been even more messed up than I've previously talked about. Uh, me and my buddy were up late gaming several nights in a row, and by the time, literally, I would get up and he would be over like a half hour later, so, um, you know, just haven't really had the time to do the commentaries. Like I said before, you know, I got a screwy gamer schedule where I, you know, sleep all day, up all night kind of thing. And that last video was pretty short, so I didn't get to touch on everything that I wanted to talk about. Pretty much, I'm not going to go too much further into it on this one, just because, you know, I pretty much touched on everything I wanted to, but, um, you know, I really do think it's going to be World at War II, and I didn't get to say why. And that's basically all I wanted to touch on, is why I think it's going to be World at War II. And, um why I think that if they weren't counting on putting Exos in, why they might now. And if they're not going to, that's fine. But they would have to make, you know, the maps. Treyarch always does an awesome job with their maps. They're not too big, not too small. You know, they have small maps, but then they have mid-maps. And that's why this game, you know, that's part of the biggest reason why it's so awesome is because I think they did an excellent job on the maps. But, um, you know, if they're not going to have Exos in the next game because it will be World of War II and that just wouldn't be plausible because you know that's in the 1940s um, it's not futuristic by any sorts you know there'd be there would be a way like I said for them to put the exo movements in but um, I already talked about that so the reason why I think it's gonna be World of War II and why a lot of people think it's gonna be is um, you know Treyarch does not post on their Facebook that often at all and uh, they posted an article about Pearl Harbor and um, you know why would they post an article on Pearl Harbor for no reason in particular um, I believe that it was on the anniversary of Pearl Harbor is the day that they posted it so you know some people were saying you know it could just be um, uh, a tribute to uh, fallen soldiers or whatever on that day but I don't think that's the case you know they're a gaming company and they always like to do little teasers and Easter eggs and whatnot so I think that there's some significance behind it I really do think that that was their little hint of what the next Call of Duty is gonna be and I think it would personally be awesome. I said that in my last video. I love how World at War was all real, you know, moments in history. Like, it was about the war, the war and um, we actually got to play missions that really did happen. And, you know, I really like that. So I think that, you know... That would be awesome. Not that I have anything against. I love these games. Uh, Black Ops 2 is my favorite Call of Duty ever. Um, this one is right in the runnings as of right now, and I don't see that changing. Um, you know, but it would be a breath of fresh air to have a realistic Call of Duty that you know was actually about real moments in time and real history, and um, a, just a big change of pace and. You know, I wouldn't want them to go back to World at War style. Like, you know, only having three score streaks and set amount of perks and blah, blah, blah. Which they would not do because they know that, you know, it's just been too long. That would be a flop of a game. People would not like it. 
you know, there would be those fanatics out there that would enjoy it, but not too many at all. But, um, yeah, guys, I guess I'm taking up the entire video talking about it once again. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hard point contested. Oh, that was just went out on him and went ham.